I'm going to tell you something that every successful person has to do, including you. Believe it or not, every successful person in this world has jumped. You got to jump. You got to take a leap of faith. You got to dash off that cliff and you got to jump out there as far as you can. A lot of times you stand on the cliff of life and you see other people soaring by, gliding down like a bird flying through the air. They flying by, you know why? It's cause they parachute open. Have you ever thought, maybe this person right here has identified their gift and is living in their gift? Because your Bible says, this your Bible, says your gift will make room for you. Your gift, not your education. You go get an education, that's nice. But if you don't use your gift, that education only gonna take you so far. If you never jump, you'll never be successful. When you first jump, I guarantee you the parachute ain't gonna open. I promise you that. But guess what? Eventually it does open. And then you start your glide. But it starts with the jump. You got to take that gift that's packed away on your back. You got to jump off that cliff and pull that cord. Because when you jump, you got to pull the cord and release this gift. And the only way that you can soar is God puts the wind under that parachute. He always does. But before the wind gets under there, it's, it's a crazy fall, man. I tumbled. I became homeless. And I lived in a car for three years. Man, I lost my family. You know, I lost a lot. I mean, I, you know. But uh, I stayed with it. I'm, I'm here today. Jumping is scary. When you first jump, your parachute is not going to open right away. I would love to tell you that it would, that when you quit your job, you'll just have a shop full of clients. It ain't gonna happen. The chute don't ever open right away. You gonna get some skin toe off you on them rocks. At times, it's gonna feel like it's an uncontrollable tumble. But let me tell you this. If you don't ever jump, your parachute will never open. You will never soar. Now, you'll be safe. And you'll sit there with that parachute on your back, all them skills you got and your skills you got, and you'll have it packed away, and you'll never get cut up on the rocks. Don't jump, and you'll never get cut up. But if you do not jump, you will never soar. You can't cannot just exist in this life. You have got to try to live. If you are waking up thinking that it's got to be more to your life than it is, man, believe that it is. Believe in your heart of hearts that it is. But to get to that life, you're going to have to jump. See, your God has a wonderful life for you. Once again, I'm going to refer to your Bible. Now, you go down there, you memorize these scriptures, you don't apply them to yourself. Your Bible says that he comes to give you life and give you life more abundantly. If I were you, I would jump because that's the only way to get to that abundant life. You got to jump, man. You got to take a chance. Now, when I get through talking, there are those of you who have discussed this in the car. Well, I got bills and I got, I got bills. I, whether you stay on the cliff or you jump, you're going to have bills. Well, if I quit my job, I'm gonna ruin my credit. If you got a job, you live in check to check. Even if you got A1 credit, you can't buy nothing else no damn way. At one point in time, man, do yourself a favor. Go, go see what God really do. God hold you up, man. He ain't gonna let you fall. He ain't bring you this far and let you fall. Do yourself a favor, man. Before you leave this world, before you die, jump. Just jump one time.